Hey y'all, welcome back to a new vlog. It is Monday and I'm probably just gonna vlog um, the next two or three days. I'm headed out of town to go to a wedding in Charleston and then I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna go to Mexico with my college best friend. So we got a lot of travel coming up and I'm so, so excited to just be in warmer weather and obviously be at the beach. Oh my God, I literally cannot wait for Mexico. These next two slash three days are gonna be just prepping and getting kind of work wrapped up, not wrapped up, because obviously I'll be, you know, doing stuff while I'm gone, but I just want to film a ton of stuff so that I have a stockpile to like kind of pull from while I'm away, even though I'll probably be filming then too. Um, but I just know when I go home, like I am so lazy. I never want to do anything and I want to take that time to like maybe sit down and edit and, um, focus more on my photography stuff since grad season is coming up. So I am just trying to, you know, get everything together. I just want to feel good and not like so panicked before I leave. I also want to pick up the whole entire house because I have a cleaner coming the day I get back. So I don't think I'll have time to like actually pick up the house before she comes. Um, just the whole house is like so dirty on the floor. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, we just had renos happen. So there was like tons of people in our house every single day with their shoes on and so it's pretty like dirty like the floors are actually pretty dirty and I got a quote from the cleaner last week she came and saw the house and she was like yeah like uh if you want me to clean around the mess like I can do that but um it'll take longer and I, and I was like no no I will pick up but I need some time to actually sit down and do that um so anyways this is just like kind of getting my life together prepping all that fun stuff um and right now i'm actually headed to south congress for something fun i was invited in for a complimentary facial at this new place on south congress called face foundry um and i'm so so excited because i've been wanting a good facial for a while i feel like my skin is finally getting to a point where there isn't a lot of whiteheads to pick out and i've been picking out my face so so bad i did cover up some spots with concealer so you really can't tell right now um but the scars are just so bad and i feel like my my face never used to like scar this bad like it would just scab over and i would literally just peel it off and like it would be fresh skin almost but now i feel like the scars are staying so long and i've been very consistent with using my bio oil which it does help but it just takes so much time to like heal and go away. I did switch birth controls recently, so I wonder if that's affecting my face in the way that it's breaking out slash maybe clearing up um, because it's been about a month that I've been on the new pill pack. I'm not really sure how long it takes to like really take into effect or what, but also during facials, if they do extractions, sometimes your face purges after. So I'm like, no, I do not want my skin breaking out because we have a wedding this weekend and I know if it breaks out, I'm gonna pick up my face again. Um, I feel like I always have to give a disclaimer about my car, but this is just me, unfortunately. I wish I was a girl with a clean car. Maybe I will be one day, but um, my trunk is currently broken. Um, I literally can't even open it right now. I think I told you guys this like months ago, but right when we were supposed to move into this house, my trunk was having some malfunctions and it would literally like open and then just like drop. It never like dropped on my head, but it was so freaking close and it was terrifying. Now, anytime I open a trunk, I'm very cautious, but now it won't even open and it's just annoying. So I basically use this backseat as my trunk and that's why it's so <sighs> cluttered back there. But anyways, I'm gonna go to South Congress and I'll take you guys along. is absolutely glowing i was like in heaven in there and i definitely fell asleep multiple times one thing about me is i can sleep anywhere especially when people are just like touching my face like or my head it was just so relaxing and the inside of the store itself is absolutely gorgeous and it's in a really great location too right on south congress they were so sweet they actually gave me a code for y'all if you use sonali you get 20 percent off through march 2024 and i don't think this is their only location i was overhearing somebody talk about the one in dallas so i'm guessing it's 
in a bunch of other places too. Now for the not so fun part of my day is doing my returns. I have a bunch of like Amazon stuff from the Renos. I had like sink fixtures. I wanted to buy like a couple at a time so that I can make sure all the golds match. So I have a, like a faucet fixture, random little things like that. And then I have to go to Lowe's to return um, some lime wash paint and my rent the runway, of course. So let's go. Ryan's home from his haircut. Did yeah, they cut the top off? No. Yeah. Look at this. This no. side's like way longer than this side. Hmm. You saw that? I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess so. Goodness. It's yeah. never right. <laughs> I want to show you guys a quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing pretty much all skims. This is like a body sleeve, body sleeve, body suit, short sleeve um, in this heather gray color. And then this is like a cropped zip up. And then my sweats. I actually just purchased these sweats to match this because I had this originally. And then I was like, honestly, I need more sweats. So let's just get the matching set. And then I have my checkered vans on. I haven't filmed in this area for a while because they moved to this mirror somewhere else because I'm guessing they just wanted like as much space near the stairs to like walk around and by them I'm talking about the contract workers for our bathroom rentals. So my outfit of the day spot is back and I'm so hyped about it because I really missed just doing like little TikTok videos here. I feel like the lighting's always so good and I like the background even though I still need to stain the stairs. I just need to find like a good stain color that I like. I talked to my contractor about it and he was like it's fine if it's not the same exact color. And that kind of gave me a little bit of hope that I can find something that is similar enough. So maybe when you get back from traveling, I'll kind of just focus on the stairs and just finish that. But last night we actually did some home updates. Finally, guys, these curtains were sitting in our dining room forever and we put them up while well, Ryan put them up. So shout out to Ryan. I ate leftover pasta for lunch, guys, just so you know. Yeah, man, there was no time for me, so I couldn't eat any. Well, you didn't eat it. You didn't ever even touch it. <laughs> I did it the first time. Mm hmm He says he's okay with eating leftovers, but never touches the leftovers. And then I can't waste it, so I have to eat the leftovers. <laughs> Why am I being tortured, you know? Mm -hmm. What is that? Where'd you get it? You think it's torture, huh? It looks good. No, it's not tortured. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that Beto's? I'm going to be so mad. Ryan... It looks like it. Anyways, back to the curtains. This is what it looks like. Also, I did some returns, and guess what? what? I kind of cleared out my car because I went to Goodwill. I don't believe that. Well, yeah, kind of, because <laughs> it's still messy in there. But you know those baseboard things that we were like that were in my car for so long. Mm -hmm. I asked Goodwill if they would take it, and they were like, "Yeah, we can take whatever. We'll just recycle." Hmm. If we can't sell it. I was like, amazing. So finally got those out of my damn car. Um, but this is what we need to do today. Right. Later today. Seriously. Right. Got to get that done. Got to return the tiles. They said they would take unopened boxes. Really hoping they take the extra ones that are open. We'll see. Curtains are from Amazon. They have this like nice little texture to them. And this is what they look like from afar. I learned my lesson and I got the shorter ones so that they wouldn't touch the ground. So you guys wouldn't yell at me. <laughs> at least on my Instagram stories. I feel like everyone was like, hem them. I'm like, no. <laughs> I just do not want to do that extra work slash pay the extra money. I tell you guys I've been working on clearing out this room for days now and it still tends to get even messier. I don't know how, but anyways, we also hung up the curtains in here. I believe they're a little different than the other ones just color wise or maybe they're like the light filtering ones and the other ones are more of like a blackout thing and ryan also hung up the mirror yesterday there's so much like random shit over here the rug like i really need to get this rug cleaned and i don't know where to put all the stuff i'll probably get different prints honestly 
I don't know if I like love these prints anymore, but I do love the frames and frames are not cheap. So I'm going to definitely keep the frames. Anyways, back to the mirror. I found this on Facebook marketplace the first year I lived in Austin. Honestly, I found so many good finds that year and I'm just like not finding anything these days, which sucks, but this wood just looks really nice. I feel like maybe like sconces on either side would like fill up the space more. I do feel like something else needs to go on that wall. At the tile shop and I've enlisted Ryan for some help. And Sophie. <clears throat> it is a lot later now, but I just was trying to focus on filming and just cleaning up. Oh my goodness. I feel like there's a lot of boxes randomly from fixtures of the bathroom and just, I don't know. I feel like I can't start packing unless everything's like actually cleaned up. Um, but I'm gonna make a very quick dinner. I'm starving. <laughs> I feel like I haven't had a minute to get a little snack, but we're gonna make salmon and we'll probably do rice, avocado, all that jazz. I am obsessed with this like Japanese barbecue sauce. I'll show you guys the brand and I'm just craving that sauce right now. So I thawed the salmon earlier today. Bachelor is on tonight and I don't know why, but it's been boring me recently. And so I'm probably just gonna try to clean while I watch Bachelor just to be a little bit productive and get stuff done so I won't be stressed out tomorrow. We always try to get the big Costco salmon and it literally feeds us for like four meals. Eight minutes and the salmon is done. I just put some Old Bay seasoning on it and then you guys know this is like my favorite rice of all time. I should probably just get like regular rice because this is not the cheapest, but it is so good and I love the texture of it. This is hot and spicy Japanese barbecue sauce from I like the regular one, like spicy. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna douse it. Yum. Bachelor time. Big smile. Why? Oh. Yep. Smile. <laughs> Girlfriend. No, that was even fish. weirder. <laughs> Thanks to Sonali for making some fish and rice. Yeah. Just, just give me fat. <laughs> It is Tuesday and I started vlogging a little bit later in the day because I just feel like my mind has been running a million miles per minute. There's just like a lot of things I have to do before we leave and I almost have this like paralyzing feeling because I have so much to do that I'm like, I don't know where to start. I will say I have been pretty productive today because I filmed the bathroom reno video. So I'm excited to put that together. I'm not sure if it'll be up before this vlog goes live because I am a little bit backed up on videos. I battle with this a lot, but I just don't want to waste like precious filming time to sit down and edit, you know, but I need to figure out some like specific days that I actually sit down and edit and specific days that I film so that they're separate and maybe I don't have to like get ready every single day. Anyways, as you can see behind me, I started packing for our travel and I don't think I ran you guys through exactly where we're gonna go. Um, well, actually, I guess I'm just gonna go with Ryan to one place, but basically we are flying to Atlanta tomorrow and then the next day we're gonna drive to Charleston because we have a wedding there that weekend. We're gonna drive back to Atlanta and then we'll both be at home for like five-ish days because both of our parents live in Atlanta. Um, and then I'm gonna go straight from Atlanta to Cancun to meet up with my college of us friends. I've not been this excited for travel in so long and I think we're staying at a really nice resort. Like I've always followed travel pages on Facebook and I've always heard such great things about this resort. I'm trying to decide if I want to vlog it for YouTube or just do like daily vlogs on TikTok. I don't know if I can handle both, so maybe that will be a game time decision, but I think all of our laundry's done. I just need to go get the last load from the dryer. I am having such a hard time packing, even though I am doing Rent the Runway for a lot of it, and I already sent my Rent the Runway clothes to Ryan's house so we can pick it up and take it with us to Charleston. Um, I rented a few dresses and I'm hoping that one works out. Girls are supposed to be wearing pastel colors and Rent the Runway did not have many options in that specific category. So I don't know, I got, just got a bunch of options and we'll see what fits, we'll see what looks good and hopefully I will not stick out like a sore thumb. I'm a severe overpacker, but I do need to leave space for my package for Rent the Runway because basically when I get home from the wedding, I'm gonna do another Rent the Runway shipment for Mexico. But obviously since I'm going from Atlanta to Cancun to Austin, like, I don't know if, you, can you ship 
in Cancun, like UPS. I'm not even sure, but it's fine. I'll just make sure that I have space for my Rent the Runway package in my suitcase in Mexico. And then I'm also probably gonna try to have Ryan like bring one of my suitcases back so that I just have one suitcase or maybe try to stuff some things in Ryan's suitcase. I don't know. We'll try to figure it out. This all is really fun travel, but after this, I feel like my life is about to get very chaotic because right when I come back, I'm coming back like on a Wednesday or something. And then that weekend, South by Southwest starts, which I am so excited for it. Last year was so much fun and I already got invited to my first event on that Friday, but I feel like everything is a very last minute invite, especially with like the influencer side of things. I know you can get like a badge and go to panels and actually get into like really cool activations and events, but we'll see. I don't know. I'll try to vlog that for you guys too. And usually South by Southwest is UT's spring break. So that kind of lines up nicely because after South by Southwest, grad season is going to pick up through May. So that's what's coming up for the next couple of weeks. It's gonna be crazy, but a lot of fun. So I'm excited. Hi Sophie, are you gonna help me pack? I have some things packed over here, just some workout outfits and some comfy stuff. And then I feel like my shoes are gonna be my downfall because since I don't know what I'm gonna rent for in Mexico, I don't know what shoes to bring. I have a lot of good options, but I just don't know if I'm gonna want some heels or just some sandals. I'm doing a couple errands. I need to return this puffer coat that I forgot to put in my Rent the Runway package. I returned everything yesterday. And then I got home and I saw this like one piece. I was like, Ooh, what do I do about that? Their customer service is honestly so good. And they sent me a new like label to get it um, shipped out through UPS. And I also, I'm gonna do some Amazon returns while I'm here. I bought some swimsuits for my trips, but they just didn't work out, unfortunately. I was gonna try to do like the two piece situation, but I will probably be sticking to one pieces. Then I just need to go to the grocery store after this. I really need to get some new press on nails because my nails have been bare for a while. And obviously we have a wedding coming up and I want my nails to be pretty for that. And then I also just need to get some feminine products while I'm there. So anyways, gonna go into UPS now. Forgot that Olive and June is really only sold at Target. So I don't love what I'm saying. Like these are my top contenders. I just don't know. Cause every time it's like see-through like that, I feel like you'd see the glue. For dinner, we are having some butter chicken. Ryan cooked the chicken. We just like put it in there for air cause we we're both starving. And we wanted this to be a speedy dinner. I'm gonna see how much this sauce is. I feel like it might not be enough. I always get two just in case. And we'll probably eat it with rice. Maybe though, I don't know. I kind of like to mix them both. This sauce packet doesn't call for it, but I kind of want to just add a little bit of heavy whipping cream because I have a specific color that I like my butter chicken to be. And I feel like it could use some of this. I'm just gonna add some cilantro on top. I rarely have heavy whipping cream and cilantro in my pantry or in my fridge. So this was actually a perfect meal to make today. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday and it is travel day. I guess we're traveling tomorrow too, but we are flying to Atlanta today. I have Sophie in the car with me. She's in her little car seat and I'm about to take her to the pet sitter. Apparently he now lives in the domain, which he used to live literally like five minutes away from us when we lived on the east side. So when he told me he lived at the domain, I was like, damn, <laughs> that sucks. Now it's a 26 minute drive there and obviously gotta do it back. But the good thing is, is that I really wanted to go to the skim store. I've actually never been to the skim store at the domain. It is the first brick and mortar. I think they said it was like a pop-up at first. I'm not sure if they're sticking to that location, but I think they're actually making a real skim store here in Austin. But anyways, I've just been really wanting a good real bra because I feel like I, um, just wear like not underwire bras and sometimes you know they just could look better um so i'm gonna try to see if i could get measured there i was looking online at their bras and then i was like i could literally go and try them on and i actually have a return at forever 21 i found this like really nice pastel dress i got two sizes and unfortunately neither of them worked for me it was just like hugging a certain part of my body that i didn't love um but it was a really pretty dress so i'm sad about that because it was gonna be for the wedding but i still have um my rent the runway being shipped to ryan's house because we'll be there tonight 
so that is what's going on. I am pretty much all packed. I can't even say that. I'm lying to you guys. I need to pack shoes, which is a pretty important part. Um, I don't know. I feel like I am forgetting so many things, but I have quite a long list of just like little things to get at the last minute. So we're going to try to do these errands real quick so I can get back home and finish up packing. skins I got my breast reduction maybe like two years ago a little over two years ago now and I haven't really worn like a real bra ever since because well they say not to like wear underwire bras I'm not sure exactly why but I think it's something to do with the scar they just like want it to heal a little bit better I have worn my like 13 year old Victoria's Secret bra like maybe once or twice but I can't be in it for too long because it's just Number one, it doesn't fit. And number two, the underwire just digs into me. All my other bras are very like seamless. They don't have the underwire, but I was like, you know what? I just need to start wearing a real bra. So I decided to get the everyday bra from Skims. There isn't push-up in this bra. I did try both of the push-up ones. It's like the more minimal push-up and then the super push-up. And I don't know, I just felt like it was very uncomfortable. And it didn't like give me extra cleavage. It just like really added a cup size, which I absolutely don't want to do because I did not pay all that money to look bigger up here. I did get measured and they said I was a D cup, which is kind of sad because I did ask for a C cup when I got my breast reduction. It does look like nice and small. I am so happy that I got the surgery, but if I were to go back, I would have asked to go smaller. I'm not sure if they would have approved that, but I would have tried to ask. But they said like a C cup is perfect when I did ask. This is the other bra that I got. It is definitely more comfy, seamless. There's like no underwire. And I got them both in colors that are similar to my skin tone so that when I wear a white shirt, you won't be able to see it underneath. So very excited about my new bras. And I'm definitely gonna pack this for my trip. That's kind of why I wanted to go today. I'm kind of sad we're leaving Austin this week because it's supposed to be really nice and hot. And I'm just excited for the weather to warm up. But I am very curious during the summer months if we're gonna die in this house because when it's cold and we turn the heater on only the upstairs gets really really hot and it literally doesn't reach the downstairs so then the downstairs is super cold and i'm just worried that the upstairs is going to be really hot and obviously we could turn on the ac but whenever i'm filming the ac is so loud that i try to turn it off so <laughs> we will see i mean this house gets a lot of natural light also so i feel like that will heat the whole house up and i feel like i am already sweating like my upper lip is sweating right now I'm pretty much packed. I just want to pack some electronics, but I always do that like at the very last minute. Laptop, phone charger, all of that kind of stuff. Headphones, they're on the charger right now. I personally like to get to the airport a lot earlier. Ryan is kind of like a last minute sort of guy. The Austin airport is really good though because there's most always never a security line and we do have TSA. But I feel like the biggest line is always the bag check line. And obviously we'll have bags to check, so I just never want to risk it. I'd rather get to the gate early. I always have like work to do on my phone or my computer and I can just chill and not stress. So I'm gonna try to get a sleeve. Is three too early? I don't know. We'll probably try to leave here by three. Uh, 18 minutes to pack, so let's <laughs> start. This man stresses me out. He's been working all day on back-to-back -back calls, yeah. but. I'll still be ready for you, brother. Uh-huh. <laughs> 